Hi, I'm Mark McGuigan. I'm a geopolitical risk advisor with a small consultancy in Hong Kong. I live here in Geneva and I've come to the school to talk about business intelligence and diplomacy. Uh, my time these days is divided between uh, consultancy work for a small firm in Hong Kong and uh, academic research, doctoral research at the University of Birmingham on the subject of European politics and uh, in particular the Brexit economic security or human security. Uh, freedom from need, want, hunger, fear, thirst, and so on and so forth. The point at issue is that when we talk about some of these terms, which on the face of it are self-explanatory, we find that actually we really need to drill down a bit more to have uh, a clear understanding of the area in which we're operating. And that is equally true of the term intelligence. Uh, but certainly the concept is straightforward dispense with all the plethora of information like artificial intelligence and big data. These are not intelligence. These are sources to be used in coming to your assessment, in arriving at the judgment that you need to provide in good time to a decision maker. And I speak from the perspective of someone who did this for 12 years in a very large bank. Therefore, when we move forward into looking at case-by-case -case examples or countries, that is based on the experience of working for a multinational organization. There is inherent in the idea of intelligence here the notion that this is commercial intelligence of a multinational nature for a large multinational enterprise, not simply a successful business within a given country. It's quite often the case that a senior man or woman will come along and say, look, I don't know what it is I don't know. I just know that I don't know it. So can you find out? Now, that's not terribly helpful as the basis for conducting an intelligence inquiry, research and analysis. So the thing we have to do is whittle it down to an exam question, an intelligence question. Thank you very much for your attention.